Oh, the British countryside. The perfect location for a picnic, to do some frolicking and general goddessing about the place. And so it happened on one summer's afternoon that some friends met and one decided to frolic off and do a spot of foraging. However, the events took a bit of a funny turn when suddenly their mouths started tingling and itching. Luckily, one of them had a friend who was a herbalist and they got straight on the phone to her. Elle was very quick to ask for more information and to get a second opinion on her ID. She then ushered a very professional response and told her friend to go immediately to hospital. At a and &E, they took her situation very seriously. Aconite poisoning can cause death in as little as four hours and that's usually due to the breathing and the heart shutting down. So she was placed on an ECG, but thankfully the amount that she had eaten was low enough that she was safe. So the friends were reunited and delighted to be able to return to frolicking and the general goddessing about the British countryside. But this was a very serious situation. So let's just take a moment to look at what went wrong. Wolf Spain is very rarely found out in the wild. I have personally never seen it. Um, and it's normally cultivated for its beautiful blue flowers. Um, and it's also used in homeopathy in extremely you know, minute uh, doses, which are safe. But this individual did indeed stumble upon aconitum uh, growing along the side of a river and mistook it for mugwort. And as she placed it into her mouth, her mouth started tingling and she showed it to a friend who uh, immediately raised concerns. At the time of year that they were foraging, the flowers on the wolfsbane had not yet blossomed. But obviously there's a major difference between the two flowers and the two plants. But one of the key IDs that you would look for to make sure that you definitely have mugwort is to turn the leaf underneath. And if you have that beautiful silvery colouring, then you know uh, that you have mugwort there and not wolfsbane. <laughs> 